Right then guys, it's me, TFT, and yes we are back with another One Take Street Food review. For today's drop, we've come to Chester Road and we're trying out a place called Caesar. I'm a big fan of Rise of the Planet of the Apes and when I saw Caesar, I thought, I've got to check this place out. What did we get? That's what you're asking. We're going to be going, when I went in there, I looked at the menu and they had this Mexican doner kebab. Doner kebab with chili beans with peppers, with onions, with the trimmings and I've never tried a Mexican doner kebab before so have a look take a look at that oh ho we've got a bit of sweet corn in there as well now then this is the Mexican doner kebab it is very very heavily marinated in sauce look at the sauce on that alright you got kidney layup, you've got some kidney beans as well is that what they are? No, chilli beans should I say, chilli beans, peppers, onions, doner kebab. You get a couple of pita breads with this as well. If you want to get chips, you're going to be paying a pound extra, so we got some chips. We got one sauce, garlic, we paid for the chilli as well. We also got a pizza, we'll wait till you see this pizza. I've never seen a pizza like this one before. But let's start off with the Mexican doner kebab. First thing I've noticed about it, it's like a medium cooked kebab meat. Not thick, not too thin. It is absolutely laced in that sauce. Right. Before I move on, the shop itself is a really small shop. It's cladded out. It looks a bit run down, but I've learned from now, never ever judge a book by its cover. I'm going to be judging it by its food. Let's go. I was expecting a lot more heat. A lot more heat I was expecting. Kebab is not as soft and as succulent as what I thought it was going to be. When I took a look at this sauce, I thought to myself, I'm going to need a kind of drink. Oh, actually, guess what? I left my pop in the shop. We'll have to go back in for that later. I was expecting it to be a really big chili hit. Actually, it's not. And to be fair, the marinade on there is not all that clever. There's not much any, there's not much heat coming off here. I was expecting a bit of a medium heat. I was expecting a bit of flavor off that marinade as well. But it's just a bit bland for my liking. Yeah. I can see how they're selling it on the menu. Because when you read it, Mexican spicy doner kebab. You got your doner, you got your chili beans, you got your peppers, you got your onions, you got this, you got that. But to be fair, she said to me, the food will do the talking, and at the moment, the doner kebab is not doing much talking at all. Now, let's have a look at their pita bread. Pita breads, they should be nice and soft. This one, as you can see, it is tearing about. Let's put a bit of kebab meat in there and give this a whirl. There's so much sauce on this kebab. It's dripping. It's... Bit of blood a bit dry. No. This whole setup cost me nine pound. The kebab, chips, two pitas and the sauce. And to be fair, I'm not really impressed with that at all. Right, let's have a look at the chips. Garlic sauce, I did ask her, I says, is it homemade sauce? She went, what sauce did you get? I said, garlic and chili. She said, yeah, it's homemade. So let's see whether or not these chips and this sauce is gonna save this kebab. Nice creamy texture on that sauce. Well, that garlic is absolutely exceptional. Chips, not so. Have a look at them. <clears throat> I'm not really impressed with the chips, but that sauce is doing the boom, 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 bam, bam, bam. Boombastic, is that the word? Fire in the booth, he says. Yep, fire in the booth, the sauce. Hmm, amazing. What I'm gonna do now, 
Let's try a British kebab with that sauce. I think that could be a good combo. You can see it's all over. Let's dip that in here. That garlic sauce should be on Baywatch. It's a lifeguard. It saved that kebab, it saved them chips, and it saved that pita bread. So, one out of four, still not good enough for TFT. Right, we also got some chili sauce as well. Well look, <clears throat> it looks a bit tomato to that, tomato texture on that. Is it gonna be a sweet chili or is it gonna be a spicy chili? Not much cheetah, see that? Not happening, not happening at all. A bit like tomato puree, a sweeter version. Right, we also got ourselves, now check this one out. We have never ever had this on the channel before. This pizza, have a look. You will not believe what this pizza is. <coughs> it's a baked beans pizza, okay? Pizza base with Heinz baked beans on and then they've just put a layer of cheese on top. TFT has never tried this before. Let's have a look. It's a bit slippy and slidey, to be honest with you. Let's have a look. Here, get a look at that. Some of the stuff the takeaways are coming out with these days. A baked bean pizza. TFT would never have imagined in his wildest dreams that he would be reviewing a baked bean pizza. It's a bit messy. Uh, let's see what it tastes like. The base, I'm not sure whether that's cooked or not. Cooked on the outside, but very, very, what can I say, spongy, that kind of texture on the inside. I was expecting it to be light and fluffy, it's not. It tastes like a jacket potato topped with cheese and beans. That's the best way to describe it. Let's dip it in the chili. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. It's got a good taste on it. Some of the kids will probably enjoy eating. If you were to bring the kid, I think that cost me six pounds. So it's some of the kids will probably enjoy. Beer bean pizza. Yeah. That garlic. Wow, it's worth the trip alone. Right then, Caesars. Chester Road in Sunderland. TFT came down and he's going to be leaving you with a rundown of the food we've had. Take a look. The kebab itself, it looked amazing. It sounded amazing. But you know what? It didn't do much talking at all. The chips for me were a bit dead. I'm not going to lie to you. Pitta breads were dry, but this bad boy here came and saved that meal. Chili sauce, well they should really call it tomato puree because it wasn't spicy at all. And that beans pizza, I mean, what can you make of that? TFT has tried quite a few different foods, but this is the first time he's had a baked bean pizza. Kind of pop I've left in the shop. I'll go back in there and get I'll go back in and get it. They haven't got much of a drink selection as well. They've got Fanta, Coke, Diet Coke, and Pepsi. And that's it. Really Caesars, pick up on your drink selection when it comes to a score for Caesars. Hey right, guys, are we in the way? No, We're, no, 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 okay. Yes, yeah, it's okay. Where have you been? Hutchinson's? Yeah, Hutchinson. Nice place, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. See you later. Right. Score time for Caesar. TFT came. And he's going to be leaving you with a very, very disappointing score because I'm very disappointed. Caesar, it's going to be 5.6. Yep, 5.6. Four Caesars, halal takeaway. I was expecting your food to warm me up, especially that Mexican donut kebab, but it hasn't. 
only one more thing left to say i'm just about gonna certify it let's go ahead and certify caesars you guys <coughs> i've all been officially food troll certified i don't have a kind of pop to say i'll see you for the next one